Hello guys, in this video we'll be looking at how to perform basic operations in Python. This program uses a while loop to continuously prompt the user for input until they choose to stop. It first takes user input for the first number, checks if it is a valid number using a try except block, and continues. It then prompt the user for input until a valid number is entered. It then takes user input for the operation, plus, minus, times, divide, module, power operator, checks if it is a valid operation, and continues to prompt the user for input until a valid operation is entered. And then it continue. It then takes user input for the second number, checks if it is a valid number using a try except block, and continues to prompt the user for input until a valid number is entered. Once all the input is validated, it performs the calculation based on the operation using a series of if elif statements, and prints the result. It then asks the user if they want to perform another calculation, and continues or stops based on their input yes or no. Please don't forget to subscribe and like as well. Thanks for watching. Now let's take our time to write the code line by line. First code. While true. This starts an infinite loop that will continue until the user chooses to exit. Second code. Number 1 equals input, enter the first number. This line prompts the user to enter the first number, and stores the user's input in the variable number 1. Third code. Try. Number 1 equals float, number 1. Accept value error. Print, invalid input. Please enter a valid number. Continue. This code attempts to convert the user's input to a float, a decimal number. If the user's input cannot be converted to a float, the code prints an error message and goes back to the start of the loop using the continue statement. Fourth code. Op equals input, enter the operation, plus, minus, times, divide, module, or the power operator. This line prompts the user to enter the operation they want to perform, and stores the user's input in the variable op. Fifth code. If op not in plus, minus, times, divide, module, power operator. Print, invalid operation. Please enter a valid operation. Continue. This code checks if the user's input is a valid operation, plus, minus, times, divide, module, or power operator. If it's not, the code prints an error message and goes back to the start of the loop using the continue statement. Sixth code. Number 2 equals input, enter the second number. This line prompts the user to enter the second number, and stores the user's input in the variable number 2. Seventh code. Try. Number 2 equals float, number 2. Accept value error. Print, invalid input. Please enter a valid number. Continue. This code attempts to convert the user's input to a float, a decimal number. If the user's input cannot be converted to a float, the code prints an error message and goes back to the start of the loop using the continue statement. The codes for the operations. If operation equals equals plus. Result equals number 1 plus number 2. Ill if operation equals equals minus. Result equals number 1 minus number 2. Ill if operation equals equals times. Result equals number 1 times number 2. Ill if operation equals equals divide. If number 2 equals equals 0. Print, division by 0 not allowed. Continue. Else. Result equals number 1 divide number 2. Ill if op equals equals module. Result equals number 1 module number 2. Ill if op equals equals exponent. Result equals number 1 exponent number 2. This code performs the appropriate calculation based on the operation entered by the user. Code for the print. Print, f number 1 operation number 2 equals result. This line prints the calculation result in the format of number 1 operation number 2 equals result. Choice equals input, perform another calculation. Yes or no. 
if choice dot lower equals equals no break this code prompts the user to decide whether to perform another calculation if the user enters no the loop is exited using the break statement if the user enters yes the loop continues from the beginning please don't forget to subscribe and like as well thanks for watching so now let's run the code and see the output so you click on the run button in the terminal enter 21 and choose the operation sign I'm using time enter the second number again I entered 21 now let's see the output so now the output is 441 that's how simple it is to create a calculator with Python program thanks for watching